All right, you guys, I'm going to show you all how to calculate frequency again. Uh, I noticed I kind of put a little equation up here so I can figure that out. It's number of cycles divided by time. First of all, I get that this is hard. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you'll find this helpful. Okay. So we're going to find the frequency of the B output, specifically whichever one was on the base, because we're trying to find the frequency of the earthquake, not the frequency of the tower. So I'm going to click on the A output and delete it. Just press the delete button. I'll stretch this out so we can analyze it a little better. So we're going to find the frequency of this. So we got to find the number of cycles and the amount of time between those cycles. Now, when I say cycle, uh, I mean a little unit of the graph before it repeats. So look at where my mouse is hovering. That's one cycle, two cycles, three cycles. So I'll go between these three cycles, I suppose. All right, you might be tempted to say that's four because that's four peaks. But no, we only counted three cycles, okay? So let's get started here for those three cycles. So I gotta find the amount of time uh, between those cycles. And to do that, I'm going to hover my mouse over here and see the X value is 0.71. So this occurred at 0.71 seconds. And then one, two, three. This one occurred at point, uh, 2.185. So I can see the X value there is 2.185. So that those are the times. Um, and so I'm going to calculate the amount of time that passed by. So that's 2.185. That's 0.71, right? Hopefully, if I don't embarrass myself in this video. So I'll press enter. And that was my time. So now to get the frequency, that's going to be number of cycles divided by time. So three divided by 1.475. And there you go, 2.034-ish is my frequency. You're gonna do this for all your data files and trust me, it'll go by much quicker after the first couple of times. Good luck, let me know if you need help. When you're done, you're gonna put the frequency and the peak acceleration and y'all's other uh, Excel. So have fun, good luck.